Hello and welcome to Starship Breakdown, where we take a look at the most iconic and infamous starships in the Star Trek universe. Today, we're going to talk about how to waste resources. The Oberth class starship design. The Oberth class was a small Federation starship used primarily by Starfleet and civilian scientists alike as a scout class and science vessel. From the late before continue, I request you to subscribe our channel and press on the bell icon button for new videos notifications on time 23rd to the late 24th century. It was named after Hermann Oberth, a 20th century German rocket pioneer. But instead of honoring his legacy, the Oberth class was a disgrace to his name. The Oberth class was a starship that wasted resources in every possible way. First of all, it wasted space. The Oberth class had a saucer section connected to a secondary hull by two thin pylons. This created a huge gap between the two sections, which served no apparent purpose. It was just empty space that could have been used for more decks, more systems, more weapons, or more anything. But no, the Oberth class designers decided to leave it blank. Secondly, it wasted materials. The Oberth class had a weak and fragile structure that made it prone to damage and destruction. It was made of cheap and flimsy materials that could not withstand enemy fire or environmental hazards. It was like building a starship out of cardboard and duct tape. Many Oberth class starships were lost or damaged in various conflicts, such as the Battle of Wolf 359, the Battle of Sector 001, and the Dominion War. The most famous example of an Oberth class casualty was the US Grissom, which was obliterated by a single shot from a Klingon bird of prey while orbiting the Genesis planet. Thirdly, it wasted energy. The Oberth class had a low-powered warp core and a limited impulse drive. It was slow and sluggish and could not keep up with most other starships or threats. It had only one phaser bank and weak deflector shields. It was underpowered and underarmed and could not defend itself or its crew. It was like driving a car with a flat tire and no gas. Finally, it wasted talent. The Oberth class had a low crew complement and minimal accommodations. It could only house 80 crew members at most and had only 13 decks. The living quarters were cramped and sparse, and there was little room for recreational or social activities. The Oberth class was not a comfortable or pleasant place to live or work. It was often used for dangerous or unethical experiments, such as testing illegal cloaking devices or studying unstable planets. It was also involved in several incidents and scandals, such as the loss of contact with the U.S. Tsiolkovsky, the disappearance of the U.S. Pegasus, and the murder of Admiral Jameson by Morden IV terrorists. The Oberth class was not a starship that respected or valued its crew. So, there you have it. The Oberth class was a starship that wasted resources in every possible way. It wasted space, materials, energy, and talent. It was a starship that nobody wanted, that nobody needed, and that nobody liked. It was truly how to waste resources. The Oberth class starship design. Do you agree or disagree? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Starship Breakdown videos. Thanks for watching.